सर माय स्पाइडर इज विजिबल टू यू यस सर यस सर थैंक यू ओके ओके नो इट हैज गॉन सर स्टिल एंड नाउ इट्स विजिबल सर ओके ओके थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू ओके प्रोफेसर्स काइंडली recall that uh, so morning one and a half hours and uh, now almost one hour over about uh, we said about that in numpy and we done a, a small projects in numpy okay so whenever we are learning any language you simply do a small projects it um, give more confident i plan to discuss about that uh, that the jay optimization is another but time not permit to proceed anyway uh, so i jump to that uh, next topic okay so what all things we done with the help of numpy we can do with the help of pandas so pandas is used of, so pandas is sit on the numpy okay so the pandas is uh, simply uh, it can um, read the external data matrix okay and uh, the pandas is what is it uh, that uh, in numpy everything is what is it a uh, numeric index but in pandas we can have that a uh, string things that's only the difference but all the operations everything is very similar to that uh, pandas okay so now i jump to that uh, so we have only half an hour more to say about that uh, kara cap okay so i plan to share about that particular thing is so this half an hour we may so 10 to 15 minutes we share about that um, what is the basic behind in the term neural networks after that um, uh, we do a small program in a um, cras api use money we do that thing is okay so uh, i now open that uh, my paint applications okay here so this what my board okay fine so uh, now basically we are in that um, neural networks okay so neural network so artificial neural network ann so this is what is the basics for um, uh, all the um, now that uh, deep learning models it may be a cnn or it may be um, rnn or it may be a lstm or whatever it is whatever it is so everything is based on that uh, ann only this ann is you know that is what is the back propagation back propagations so this what is the uh, basic informations okay uh, you know very well about uh, this particular thing. yesterday the professors talk about uh, uh, this informations okay so simply you look about here so we have a new born baby this new born baby uh, learn from the experience the same thing is our deep neural so our ultimate objective to build a machine to think like a human brain so how human brain define the similar way we are going okay so here keep in mind that the human brain have that a lot of nodes here also we call that sorts of nodes we call that sorts of neurons here we call that a nodes so we have that of um, no nodes and uh, everything is we have that um, that is cooperated with a weight and bias so you please take a small example okay so i am trimurthy so i have the experience based on my experience i am learning okay so the very fastest machine is what is that our brain only okay so you take that um, based on that uh, environment experience i learn that thing okay um, i take that dr ambedkar ambed kumar sir ambed kumar sir is very good friend for me okay we had a plan to write about book and um, like that like that we have plan to publish a papers like that so based on the experience i have a, a positive weight on my brain if if a person okay uh, behave opposite to me what happened i simply down the weight of that particular person this is what actually happening in the um, um, neural networks so what we are going to do that we have the data matrix the data matrix contains a collection of data objects i take a data objects one okay so here i am talking about that a deep learning model um, neural network model for a classification task so we have the classification task we have the data matrix okay so we have the data set data set in terms of data matrix data matrix so we have a data object one so this what object one and we have the uh, feature one value feature two value feature three value feature four value and i have the class label okay we take your um, uh, this what is it uh, object okay we take this so this what um, object one the height is height is 150 and weight is uh, 70 and age is um, uh, 25 and um, 
uh, what is that uh, salary is 10k like that things so we have this particular thing is okay so totally totally how many objects we have with how many uh, this what a class label this what's another thing is class label this what's class label so we have assume that we have the 100 data objects we have 100 data objects so what actually we need to do that in order to feed about this particular thing is we need to split the data set into training set and testing set okay with the help of training set we need to build a model we need to build a model neural network model we need to build a model so after that we need to evaluate our model so after training we got the model with the help of that model we are going to evaluate we are going to evaluate the model right so this is what we know very right based on the uh, training testing accuracy we climb that uh, our model to a um, 100 percent accuracy 95 percent accuracy like that we say that is right so now what we are going to do that we are going to build a neural network model so what actually happening here so here we are going to have the training set in this training set i split so this what is at um, uh, x Yeah, this one is the X. Just a minute, I. And this one Y. So this X is we are giving input to a layer one. Then we are going to give the input to that layer two. Then we are going to give it to the layer three. And this one is the output. This one is the output. Okay, so this X indicate totally how many input in our case? Four input. We are giving four input. One, two, three, four. What are the four values? This what our height, weight, age, and salary. The four input. We are giving to the uh, layer one. Layer one process that uh, it gives us some outputs. We have it. That is the input to the next layer. That is the input to the next layer. And finally, this what output we have. This one is at a Y dash. Now this what actual y we have it now this one so now we need to find out that the last function this what last functions so we have the last function based on the last function last function we have the last value based on that we need to update everything is so here weight updation here weight updation here weight updation okay so our x go 100 our x go 100 100 uh data that meaning is during the training my neural network model how many times iterated 100 times iterated it take a first data objects and process it update the weight and find out that it predict the y value and the actual y value and predicted y value it find the last function based on the last function it update the weights it update the weights after that it take the second object it train that things after so then it find out that the predicted y what is the relationship between the predicted value and y value it find out that the difference it find out the difference. so it hundred object it hundred iterates so if the hundred iterates happens so this what is it one approach it's called one approach so one approach that indicate how many data objects we are having during the training all the times it do that so this what is it? one approach so the similar thing is we are going to repeat for 100 approach. So we are finding the weight of each and every layers. Okay. So this what is the information about that um, approach. Okay. So each and every approach, how many times iterated. So yeah, approach is a combination of 100 runs here. 100 indicate total number of training objects. Total number of training objects. Okay. So after that, we have a model. This model, use, uh, with the help of this model, we are going to apply the testing data. We are going to apply the testing data. Okay, so this is what actually happening. This is the basic information on both them. So what is the approach? Uh, what is that uh, uh, iteration? So this what you need to remember that. Okay, so every approach iterate how many times? Hundred times. This hundred indicate what number of training samples. Okay, so if I have said hundred approach means it repeatedly learning with the help of the same data. 100 approach, each approach have 100. So 100 into 100, that number of times it iterated and fine-tuned the weight. Based on that weight, 
it's going to find out the final value. Okay, so this is what is that a approach, the, relay, the term indicate what is that a approach, what is that a iterations. Okay, like, so now how we are going to, so this what is that a layer, the layer indicate what is that a unit. This unit indicate a neurons. Every layer how that a neurons. This neuron process it. Okay, so this every neuron give the single value. So this is what is that activation function. This what is an activation function. Okay. So what are the terms we learned that? So simply we learned that uh, approach. Okay. So we simply look about the term. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so we take that uh, uh, how many approach like that, okay? So your small things, um, I will do that things, right? Uh, please wait, a uh, uh, small approach. So approach we need, okay? And this what is that, uh, um, uh, each count how many times we need that, okay? So uh, now how we are going to, so each and every neuron it indicate the, like, so layer, layer contains the units, units. Okay, so here, how we are going to create the three. So uh, now we are going to make use of the sequential modeling. Sequential modeling that indicate what is the stack of layers. Stack of layers. We are going to work with the stack of layers. Okay. So here the sequential model. So this what a stack of layers. So we are going. To, so this what uh, you please look about here. So uh, layer one, layer two, layer three. So this what is a stack. This what is a stack of layers. Okay. So sequential model. So uh, our process, our flow of data from layer one to layer two, layer two to layer three. So this what is a flow. Okay. So this what is a sequential modeling. And then layer. So the layer variety of layers we have it. Embed layer, tens layer. Okay, so we are going to make use of the here is a tense layer. So basic information we are working. So various layers. So this what is the layers. Every layer what we need to indicate how many number of units we need to indicate. Okay, so no need to mention how many input because the input is depend from the previous uh, layers. Okay, whenever we are going to add the layer, we need to only talk about how many number of output. No need to worry about the input because that Keras CAP automatically uh, do that because the input of the layer is depend on output of the previous layer. So what do you need to know? How many input I'm going to provide? So input layer, how many number of input I want to provide? And how many number of output I want? So end, in between hit and you may have any number of layers. Okay. So here, if you use the tense layer, uh, what is that is all the units are interconnected. Okay, so fully connected layer. So the tense layer, if the model you are con um, created with the help of tense layer means all the units are interconnected with the, uh, other units of previous layers. Okay, so this what is that um, uh, about the uh, layers. Okay, and just now I said that each and every unit gave the single value. Okay, it received the single value. So this is depends on the activation function. Activation function. Activation function. So we have the variety of activation functions. We have sigmoid function, tan h functions, like this. We have variety of activation functions. We have it. So based on your requirement, we can do that. Relu functions. Based on your requirement, we can change your change the configuration of your model. Okay. So this what is that? Uh, activation functions. Okay. So things. Okay. So what are the things we need to remember? The first thing is the model construction. After that, model construction means mo model configurations. Configurations. In this model configuration, what is the important thing is how many number of input we are going to provide, what will be the output we are going to get, and uh, how many hidden layers, and each layer have how many units. So this is model configurations. So after that, model constructions. Model construction. Okay, model construction. How we are going to model construct Panaparo? So with the help of, we are going to fit the model. Why we are going to fit the model? How many approach? 
okay what is the last functions we are going to use that what is the optimization functions we are going to use that okay so this is we need to do that then model evaluation model evaluation so in this model evaluation we are going to evaluate the model based on the uh, based on the testing data testing data okay so this is what is that a common flow for all the neural network we are going to make use here okay fine so this model configurations we are going to use that what type of layers what type of layers we are going to use that the layer example is uh, uh, what is the tense layer or embedded layer okay we have variety of layers we have you please go through that particular thing and then uh, uh, whenever we are going to mention the layer what is the important thing is how many output how many output because input of that particular layer is depend on output of the previous layer so no need to mention that how many output your layer want to mention that. but the first layer only we need to mention how many input first layer the first layer we need to mention how many input and how many output okay because the first layer is you see a combination of two things hidden layer one also the input layer so oh, how many input and how many output we need to mention in the first layer only all of those layer we need to mention only the output layer output how many output units we, you need to mention no need to mention about the input dimensions so this is thing is okay so this is the basic flow we need to do that so now we are going to construct the model how we are going to construct the model we take that. okay so in in that case what we are going to do that we are going to take how many input we take the two input okay we take the two input okay and um, the output is what is that uh, one output okay so for example i take that uh, the small example what i want to do that uh, my data set contains x y class label x is 100 y is 10 this is 0 uh, this is 60 and this is 61 this is 1 and this is what are 30 and this is 32 this is 1 and 10 uh, 2 this is 0 so this what are my data set so what it means my data set, each data object is represented as two attribute that are the x, y. Okay, so here, if x is greater than, the class label is zero. If y is greater than, class label is one. This is what my object. Okay, so based on this, I want to, first thing is what we need to do that, we need to construct the model. Okay, we need to construct the model. Excuse me. The first thing is we need to construct the model. So what we are going to use that already I said the dense layer and sequential model we are going to make use here. So the next thing is uh, simply, excuse me. I'll new notebook. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, any, sorry, any queries? Sir, any queries? Sir, you are not audible. More noise. Okay, I proceed. Um, professor, so please, uh, I take the uh, things. Okay, so this what uh, the uh, things uh, Keras I am, we are going to create. So the first thing is we are going to construct the model. Okay. So already I said that the sequential model. I have worked with the cola. So sequential model. Um, so here input dimension and how many output file? Tense layer. So two input, it received two input and the output of first layer is three. The input of next layer is three and output is one. Like that, we are going to do that. Okay. So this what um, um how we are going to construct the model, model construction. While we are going to construct the model, what type of model? Sequential model that indicates stack of layers. 
after the first layer we are going to add first layer you need to mention how many input how many output after that each and every layer we need to mention only the output no need to mention the input because input is depend on previous layer okay so it's simply i execute this particular things so this what model summary this model term, summary indicator um, how, how many input and how many output you need like that thing. and the parameters so total parameters so a parameter indicate weights and bias weights and bias so already i said that uh, uh, whenever we are learning the um, object okay based on the last value we are going to construct based on the last value we are going to construct the next thing okay so now what we are going to do that we are going to construct the uh, input we are going to construct the input right so what's my input i need to prepare the data set i need to prepare the data set okay so simply sir, i need sir. yes madam sir here uh, in the two layers uh, you are mentioning the two different activation functions so can we use different activation functions for the yeah, ma'am so that's that's not a problem madam so oh. here i show we have variety of activation functions we have it so that's what i mentioned here this is what a configuration based on your accuracy based on your output we can change to the some other activation function huh. my doubt is okay. oh. we can have it ma'am we can have okay. it okay sir thank you so, okay so the next thing is so we we can do the next thing is i want to prepare the input right so just now i said that what's my input or two value x y and a class label okay so i can say that thing is so simply i take that um, excuse me okay so simply uh, i construct that so please look about here i plan to construct a data set randomly okay 100 100 and the size is so um, 1000 uh, column 1000 data objects and uh, in the two columns okay so this what a uh, thing is and a maximum value so i print the value here i simply execute the uh, data set please look about 68 61 35 98 0 31 51 0 like this way we got the data set so this what a data set we are going to uh, give the input to your mod okay totally how many input two input 68 and 60 this what our class label okay so the next thing is what i want to do that i i simply uh, fetch the uh, x and class label i want to fetch the class label and the things okay so please uh, look about here i want to here what i do then every data set contain x and y y indicate the output so already i said that so this what y this what our output now we are going to give the input to only a y x to our model that model predicted value and the last value depends on that so the i simply create the data set of simply into the two things what is that um, um x dot y y so now i simply take here uh, i print the value of um, x x prime Sixty-eight, sixty, thirty-five. So this what a class label. One zero 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 one. This is a class label. I simply take here, x train and y. Train. Okay, I split that things. So this what a class label, right? So now what I want to do that I want to after that I want to uh, construct the. I want to compile the model. I model construction. Already I said that model construction. So I will. I want to compile the model. i want to compile the model so simply i want to compile the model so while we are compiling we need to indicate what's the last function what's the optimization and what's the metrics i want to use that so accuracy i want to use that thing so here you can use modify this particular uh, least square mean error last functions okay squared mean error uh, average like that we have variety of last functions we have it and also optimizer you can feed your own optimizers also okay so here i want to compile this particular so now my model is ready now i am going to train the model now i am going to now the configuration is over now i want to train that particular model so how i am going to train the model simply i am going to train the model okay so this what x train y train 
So based on the x value, this is what actual y, how many approach? 150 approach. So simply, I simply click that. Approach 1, approach 2. Sir, okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what about the epoch, sir? If we increase or uh, decrease, uh, whether it will have any change in the training? Ma'am, uh, that's what already I said that during the configuration, you can change the uh, epoch. If you increase the epoch, it takes time, but it produces a better accuracy. Okay. So that's uh, the thing. Like if we make but, it uh, uh, more, it will anyway increase the accuracy. Is there any saturation? Yes, madam. So that's also it's showing that a graph, madam. I will show that this. Okay. So it automatically show the uh, after particular uh, approach, it all it produces the same result only, but never it come down. Okay, sir. Okay. So so now we have. So this is the way we need to train the model. This is the way we need to train the model. Okay. So after that we need to evaluate. So how to evaluate? We need to again build the uh, testing data. We need to be the testing data. So I create the testing data. So new course so here. So I create the test data, X test and Y test, the similar way. Okay. I train with a thousand data objects, but here I uh, test with hundred data objects. I test with hundred data objects. So this is what uh, I plan to create a test. Data. So randomly I have created. Okay. So the next thing is what I need to do that I need to split uh, I need to evaluate. So simply I need to evaluate. It's so the 99% is accuracy. Okay. So this what um, uh, how we are going to work with a um, model, cross model. Okay. So here we build only a AN. So here if you work with the CNN model, you want to work with it. So what's the key point you need to remember? Okay, whenever it's common for all the things. What's the thing is you need to remember? The first thing is, so sequential model that indicates stack of layers. Okay, so first task is configuration. Okay, the configuration, what you need to do that, how many input, what will be the output? And um, things uh, you need to remember, how many input, what is the output? Okay. And how many hidden layers? Each and every layer you can add it here. You can add it here. So here I I, I add it here. One more layer. Okay. So here you can have that two and one. So now I I, I want to uh, compile this code again. The first thing is okay. I execute it. After that I execute. Then I am going to separate. Again I am going to compile. And I'm going to fit. Okay. Then I consider the test data. Then I'm going to evaluate. Now this time 100 accuracy. So we can add the layers. So here I add the layers. Okay, we can add it. So this is what is the configuration. So what is the task is you need to uh, think about your problem. In this your problem, the configuration, activation functions, uh, number of layers. Okay. And also you need to mention that uh, what's the loss functions, what is the optimization you are going to do. So this is what is the configuration setup. You can fine tune it. But what's the key point you need to remember? How many input, how many output in between, how many layers, what type of layers you need to think of. Okay. So this is you need to remember that. So this is what are common for all the neural networks. All the neural networks, it may be a CNN or it may be RNN, whatever it is. So this is must. Okay. For classification task. Okay. But I have no experience about that. How to do the clustering, how to do the association mining with the help of deep learning. So I have no experience on that thing. So still no. Okay. So, um, so this what are the basic uh, uh, things. Okay. Uh, that's all about uh, from my side, uh, dear professors. Okay. Uh, time not permit to proceed anymore. So here, um, uh, my session, I hope, I know my session never make you to become a master. But I hope it give a eye opener for you in the deep learning environment. 
okay so this what about uh, that the basic information hope this information help you to become a master okay um uh, thank you professors from my side if you have any queries you please uh, interact with me uh, you can make use my my lady and mobile number okay and i share that what are the programs we have discussed we can um, i share so i i worked with that one more thing is uh, uh, the classification with the help of pima data set okay uh, pima data set so pima classification so medical diabetes things so this is i have that one workable ex example code with me okay i share this code also with you okay so you can uh enrich your knowledge in the deep learning thing is okay so thank you professors um participant if any doubt uh, professor i think it's a lunch time everyone how that course okay, okay uh, sorry okay, professor uh, plan to okay. spend uh, uh, one more project but the time not permit proceed anymore anyway i share the materials to you please share with uh, uh, other professors thank you mr uh, dr um, ambed kumar sir thank you i uh, hand over mic to sir. you thank you sir thank you sir uh, once again thank you thanks to uh, dr uh, tirumurthy sir right so okay. uh, thank you to all the participant uh, today assignment question i will post it on Uh, your WhatsApp group. Uh, if any doubt uh, regarding this session, also you put in the WhatsApp group. I will share to the Mr. Uh, Murthy sir. Right. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, may I quit the session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. We'll meet on thank the you, next session. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, bye. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, all the participants. sir yes ma'am uh, today's session is over sir or afternoon is there any session so assignment question i sir uh, it was not clear i don't know it was from my side or not your voice was breaking yes ma'am it is breaking it is audible ha uh, yes now it is audible Okay, okay. Uh, the session is over, ma'am. Right. So uh, there is no yes, after session. So I, uh, I assignment posted. I posted on uh, WhatsApp group. So now okay. I download the attendance also. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So shall Sorry, we uh, shall we close it? Ah, uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. You okay. Thank you.